everybody. It is Mrs. Rocky Run on Angus Ranch. Um, it's a pretty windy day today, but it's nice and warm, sun shining, dogs running around. Um, I've been noticing some comments about you guys wanting to know how the ducks are doing. Um, I'm happy to report that they are doing really, really well. They have grown so much and they eat a lot and they drink a lot and they poop a lot. So that's normal. Um, so I'm going to run quick to check on them and then I will show you some video of them how they are right now. Uh, later tonight we are going um, to a bigger town where we have purchased um, a coop for them because it is starting to get warm and they're starting to get big and they are not all going to fit in that tub for very much longer. So um, just a second and we will be in the shop and I will let you look at them. All right, here we are. Let me just show you how big they are. As you can see, they have tripled, if not quadrupled in size. They are huge. And they're happy, I think. But for real, I thought they were cute before. They have gotten even cuter. All right, so it's a few days after I made that last video. Um, I didn't have a chance to film anymore, but here they are now. And as you can see, they are huge, really, really big. <laughs> um, and their little waterer, which held about a gallon, was just not cutting it. So now we have the jumbo size, three and a half gallons, I think. Yep. So I'm gonna fill that. We're kind of running out of space in their in their tank. Um, so hopefully we will get their coop built soon. We did end up buying one, um, and hopefully they'll have a coop to live in once it warms up. But yeah, the ducks especially are ginormous. So I'm kind of excited to see them grow even more because they're really adorable. So I'm going to fill their new waterer. It's going to take up quite a bit of space in here, but they do drink a lot. So I guess I'm more worried about them having the right amount of water. So here goes. All right, so I filled up their water and I just have to screw the top on and then I will put it in there. And you guys should seriously see how excited they get when I fill their water. It's like they haven't drank in a hundred years. You guys go, drink your water. Yummy, yummy. It's pretty exciting. Okay, so since the ducks and chicks have grown a lot, they have outgrown their little tank, and they are now in this really, really big one. There they are. And we are working on making the uh, coop today. Uh, we bought this last week, and it hasn't been real nice out, but it finally is nice out today. So, um, Brenton's probably going to do most of the work because <laughs> he's good at this stuff and I'm not. And you can't see the outside of the box, but it says that it holds uh, 18 standard size chickens. And my question, honey, is how many ducks do you think it's going to hold? Just curious. No more than we already have. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. He says I can only have the four ducks that I have. So, I guess it's gonna hold eight chickens and four ducks. So here we go. We can't find the instructions yet, so this should be interesting. All 
All right, so we got our poop about halfway done here. What? He's working on the poop tray. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see there's four nesting boxes. It says online. Be, what? I thought there'd be three on each side. Yeah, he thought this whole time there were three on each side, but he thinks he got uh, gypped, but he just didn't read the box very well, apparently. There he is. Read the instructions. <laughs> if you ever want to test your marriage and your patience, <laughs> building a chicken coop, that will help. He did. See? It stops sooner. That last little bump you do, that's what does it. Alright, so we're almost done. Yeah, we have the roof left. Here's kind of what it looks like on the inside. That's Gizmo. We just have the roof to put on now. He hasn't killed me yet, so we're good. All right, it's all put together. And uh, I might have discovered an endangered species. <laughs> Sasquatch. Sasquatch uh, rooster. Just trying to give you guys a good picture of it. It's a pretty decent size, actually. We're pretty happy with it. And I think our chicks and ducks are ready. All right, so we're done with our coop and we've decided where we want to put it. So we're going to put it way up in the corner. Um, it's near our house, but far enough away. Um, we won't have to smell them or hear them all the time, but it's just a little walk. So I think it'll be nice. Thank you.